Well, I guess Gary's not going to be a surprise. Um, but here he is, Mr. Gary Stutzman. I think those of you that have been attending these concerts, you've seen him right all the time. Thank you, Tim. Uh, we are so blessed here at Charlevoix uh, City Band Pavilion, the Old Mark Pavilion, uh, to have talent like Dr. Tim that can lead the band at his level. Tim, thank you very much for all you do for the band. And also, everyone that's sitting on this stage is a volunteer, and they work for nine weeks getting ready, playing every song, practicing it, uh, prior to the year starting here. And so, Ben, thank you very much for all the work that you do to make this happen. About 20 years ago, a guy showed up in the back row, and we call that back row the heavy metal row. Would the heavy metal show the heavy metal? I mean, isn't it? It's there. They're old and they can't pick them up. Uh, but anyway, uh, Ted Hartley uh, showed up one day in the park and he listened to the band and came up to me afterwards and said, you know, I'd, I'd like to play. I live over in Petoskey in the summer. and. Um, I said, well, I've got a horn you can play. And so he came in and sat in with the band. That was 20 years ago. And last summer we were sitting together and, you know, I said, it'd be really neat to have something special for the band that would honor the great Coast Guard organization that we have here that takes care of us. And these men in the Color Guard came out today to represent the Coast Guard. And uh, Grand Haven uh, calls themselves the Coast Guard City, but we would not be what we are if it weren't for the protection that we have from this great group of men and women. So uh, thank you to the Coast Guard. And Mr. Ted Hartley called the Coast Guard and got permission to work with a, a tune that is the Coast Guard theme. It's actually Semper Paratus. And he'll tell you a little bit about how he put it together. But um, I want to tell you a little bit about Ted. Uh, this band is made up of men and women from all walks of life. And if somebody has an instrument in their closet and they want to get out and join us, they're welcome to play in this band. There's also men and women in the band that have their degrees in music. Some we would consider playing at a professional level. And that's what makes the group such an exciting group to work with. And so Ted got his music degree at Southern Illinois University. And then he went to a great little music school for directors called Vandercook College and got his degree and started writing for marching bands and jazz bands and orchestras. And um, he's just does a great job. And uh, what I'd like to have us do is give Ted Hartley a warm welcome and he'll tell you a little bit more about the piece and then we'll play it for you. Well, it is an honor to write music for this great band that you have here, right? A great band that plays each summer and is a joy to play with, and then now to get the honor of writing music for them. I come from central Illinois, uh, near Decatur, Illinois, and uh, I come up here to Bayview in the summers. I have a lot of commissions and, and uh, writing for various groups from college all the way down to elementary, and uh, I'm especially excited about writing this piece, which is called Fanfare and Prelude on Semper Paratus. So part of it does include the main uh, Coast Guard hymn or song, uh, and I hope you recognize that. And then I do some variations on it. What makes me extremely proud is that one of my former students, when I was a band director, I'm a United Methodist pastor now, but when I was a band director, she is the first euphonium player for the Coast Guard band out of Connecticut. And through her, I was able to get this done. And always proud when your students play in an organization that great uh, as the Coast Guard Band. So Gary, I would like to present to the band uh, this score and parts 
in honor of this band and for you to use in Pertuum forever that you would like to use it. And thanks again.